friends, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. Today, doing something a little different, not necessarily a fashion haul here, but I'm doing a Target haul for home decor, um, some beauty stuff that I have, and then a couple baby items. I really had good intentions with wanting to do a Target fashion haul. And then I went into my store the other day, like my local Target, and I was like, feel like I'm being duped. Like, what is going on here? It was literally within one turn bikinis on this wall and then mini dresses on this wall and then winter coats on this wall and like the wild fable line that I usually really love had like straight up 70s looking prints it was not cute or the things that I thought were cute I can't wear because I am currently seven months pregnant so yeah I definitely don't have any fashion items today <laughs> but everything that I'm talking about I'm going to share in the description bar below so it's all gonna be linked down there in the order that you see see it in. Um, I also will have the items that I'm like wearing, makeup details, all that stuff. It's going to be linked in the description bar below as well. While you're down there, go ahead and click the subscribe button. I would love to have you guys join the fam and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so maybe it was just my target and like if I was to go to the Woodruff Road which I hate Woodruff Road. If you live in Greenville or even Spartanburg, you know how horrible Woodruff Road is. <laughs> um, maybe if I was to go to that one, it would be better. Um, but yeah, I went to the Wade Hampton or I guess the Taylor's um, Target and it was awful. Like I felt like it was a joke and like something had happened. So absolutely no women's fashion, but we're starting out with a lot of home decor. So I got rid of a ton of my home decor um, this year when we were actually getting rid of our Christmas stuff or like putting up our Christmas stuff. I feel like... I just am kind of over some of the home decor we've had. We've had it for like four or five years, some of it. It's really cheap. Some of it was like broken and I just was over it. I needed a refresh. And so I basically got rid of a ton of stuff. We've purged so much. I think that's a mixture between it being the new year and my nesting kicking in. Um, so I got rid of a ton of stuff and then I've slowly been adding in back home decor, but I started with the bigger things. So I have a lot of like lighting here. I have like some organization stuff. Um, so I will start out with this floor lamp. So I actually really hate floor lamps. I don't know why I've hated them ever since I was in design school. Um, couldn't, couldn't really ever give you a reason. I just remember we had like a full lighting class and I was like, I hate floor lamps. And so if it was like a perfect world, we would have enough room to put a small side table and then a table lamp here. But we actually, beside our sofa, don't have room for that. So we had to get a floor lamp. And we used to have one that actually looks better in the baby's room. So I got this one from Target and it actually is the first floor lamp I've ever genuinely liked because it's simple, it's plain, it's easy to turn on and off. There's no weird like parts to it. It feels very sturdy and it's just simple. I don't like floor lamps, especially that are like wild and, and have this like very harsh decor look to them. Um, I don't like floor lamps with three legs. So like like this just fit like exactly what I wanted. I was like, if I'm gonna have a floor lamp, this one is very simple. It's also at a very good price point and it lights up our entire living room. So I actually have been very impressed with this one. Again, like floor lamps haven't done anything to me. It's not personal. I just don't like them and I don't know why. But this one has been very impressive from Target. We have had this one for, I believe we got it before New Year's Eve. So it's now what the 24th so about about pushing a month of having it so far I also picked up this gray lamp. So the baby's room, we're doing a um, moon and stars theme, not to be confused with a galaxy theme. So I have his room, it's like blue wall color, and then white and gray are kind of the accents. And so I wanted a gray table lamp with a white lampshade that lit up the whole room. And this one is like so perfect. This is actually one of the nicest lamps I've ever had. These lamps that you guys see back here, um, that lampshade is actually crooked and it's really bothering me now. I'm Sorry if you can see that and it bothers you, but those are actually from Target and we've had them for years and they're super nice, but I actually think this gray one's even nicer. So table lamps at Target are really nice. Do not look past them. Um, and they used to only ship like their lamps with separate um, lampshades and then the lamp itself. Now I find that almost all of their lamps are shipped with their actual shade. So you do still have a couple that don't, but I like that a lot more because it felt like such an annoying waste to me to have to buy a lampshade separate. Um, and they were expensive. So this one came one full piece in a box. It looks really good. It's gray. So it matches my son's decor and his nursery really well. And again, it lights up the entire 
entire room. Like it is super, super bright. So very impressed with that one, the quality, the price, all of it. Okay, so next up I have some storage baskets and I feel, I felt so attacked the other day. I saw a real, a girl who was saying like, my toxic trait is that I think I need more baskets in my house. And I was like, I feel attacked. Like that is so my toxic trait. So something that I've been doing is just buying a bunch of baskets. Again, I've started kind of with the bigger items for new decor and then I'll kind of get smaller into like smaller, just like little signs and frames and all that kind of stuff um, at a later point. But I've been loving these baskets from Bright Room. I actually have so many. I still have the tags on these. I have two of these in this size in my son's nursery. And then I think three of these in his nursery. Um, and I'll talk about this in a second. But this one I saw in stores first. Now it is available online. It's from the Bright Room collection, which I do believe is new. They have so many cute baskets. Um, mine was kind of picked through at my Target. Again, I think I just had poor luck at mine. So I bought these online and they are so nice. They come in this gray color and then they also have a blue, but this one fits so much. So it actually is wide enough that it fits two rows of diapers. I just like threw some stuff in there in, the, in my um, son's nursery the other day just to like see how it would fit. And it actually fit two rows of diapers, a big thing of wipes and like some creams and stuff back here. So this holds a lot of stuff. So I'll be really excited to see kind of what this holds in my house. But for the time being, I literally got my hands on these like yesterday, like on the extra sizes. Um, I grabbed like the original two that I got for, for the nursery um, like maybe two, three weeks ago. Um, so once I saw they were online, I like purchased a bunch more of these. So I will figure out where these go in my house. They will go somewhere because I love them so much in the nursery that I was like, no, these have to be somewhere in my home. But I also have this small one. So I brought some of the other stuff I want to talk about with you guys. So this I really like because it's small, but it actually holds a ton of stuff. This holds one full roll of diapers. This holds, um, I have two breast pumps, my regular, and then I'll have my secondary. Both of these, I have like all my pump parts from both of them in one basket each in the nursery, just chilling right now. My thought for this would actually be, this would be awesome for the remote controls because again, it's like small but we can fit all our remote controls in here and it can go in our TV console and it will put them all away because we don't actually use our remotes a ton. We have the remote on our phone, like on the little app. So I just thought this would be great for stuff like that. So I did pick up like two or three extra ones of these, but um, they are really, really nice. And again, you can get them in blue or gray. And I just love the like size of them, the look of them. Um, and so Bright Room Collection has been very impressive so far. Okay, so this storage cart, I actually, so this, I bought this same brand storage cart, but from a different store and we put it together. We really like it, but then I went and target and I saw this storage, the storage cart they have, and it's exactly the same brand, but it doesn't have the top handle. So it is a different like model, but it's the same brand. So the quality still looks good. I was messing with it in Target the other day. I was like kind of jerking around on it. We have decided I'm going to have a little storage cart for all the baby stuff. You can find like a million and one um, different little organization inspo on like Pinterest. I found the one that I want to organize my cart like. I haven't done it yet. So please just disregard all of this stuff on it at the time being. It is just a placeholder. Uh, but I liked the storage cart in Target more because it actually didn't have that top handle. And I'm probably just going to pull the top handle off mine because it does restrict what you're able to put in that top compartment. But then it'll have two holes in it that will like show that there should be something there. And the one at Target did not. So definitely recommend getting one without the top handle. It seemed very convenient at the time, which is why I bought it. But then I realized like it kind of restricts what you can put in that top compartment. Like I couldn't sit my cup up there unless it's like in a very specific place and it would, you know, it's just kind of weird. So same brand, but I would recommend, especially if you're going to get a storage cart, but especially if you're getting it for the same reason I am is for like to have all your postpartum stuff and your like all the stuff for your kid after you have them. Um, then yeah, I definitely would recommend the one from Target that is like, doesn't have the top handle. This tray for coffee is so perfect. So my husband and I both were just itching to get something different. Um, we don't use our Keurig a lot. I told you guys we use pour over like 99% of the time before the like one cup of hot chocolate or the one cup of coffee in the afternoon, kind of like onesie twosies here and there. Um, we do still have a Keurig. And so we actually really wanted something that could sit beside the Keurig underneath the cabinets. And our cabinets are actually this house 
house is so old, our cabinets are actually lower than standard cabinets are now. So we were a little nervous that we wouldn't find something and this tray is absolutely perfect. I saw it on, I hope I'm saying her name right, Stylin by Aylin or Aylin um, on Instagram. And I saw it in her kitchen and I was like, that thing has got to be expensive. She has like, her stuff's a little bit more expensive. And I saw it and I was like, no, there's no way that's affordable. And when I saw it was from Target, I immediately bought it. It is amazing. It fits under our cabinets and it actually holds a decent amount of stuff. Um, we keep just our coffee pods on top of it. And then, um, the coffee and sugar underneath. So we really like those. I've seen some people stack. I think she even stacks, um, like upside down coffee cups on hers. But again, like our cabinets are a lot lower, so we probably couldn't do that. I'm not sure I haven't really tested it because we always just wanted some place that we could put like a couple coffee pods for when we do just have those like onesie twosies. Um, and then that be that. But I also have this little spoon holder <laughs> that I got from Target from the, is it Hearth and Home or Hearth and Hand collection? The Joanna Gaines collection. Um, and we really love this. We've actually had this for a long time, but now it sits all together. It looks really nice. It keeps all of our coffee stuff, just like it's one little perfect location. And it just looks a lot more organized than what we had prior to that. That was very like big and bulky and took up a lot of counter space. We also got this side table for the nursery. I'd been looking for something um, just to sit like, my breast pump on, my phone, you know, my water when I'm drinking it, whatever. I just wanted like a really nice side table. And I found this the other day on a whim and I saw it and I thought, oh my gosh, that wood looks like it will match the name sign that we have for the baby on the wall. And so I ordered it. As of right now, I think you can only get it in stores if you buy it fully assembled, which is a little frustrating because that means you're getting a floor sample that like people have touched or, you know, has been kind of beat up a little bit. Um, so I believe you have to order it online if you don't want it to be fully assembled from a floor model, but I could be wrong. That could just be my target, but that's how it is at least here for all of our local targets. Um, but got this in and it is exactly what I wanted. It matches the name sign perfectly. It looks a little bit more red on camera than it is in person, but it's a decent size. I believe it's 18 and a half inches in diameter and it just has thin black legs, but it feels really, really sturdy, really nicely made. And it's from the Studio McGee collection. First time I purchased anything from them and I'm very impressed so far. So home decor at Target is like always a favorite, but like this table and these bright room baskets, I love. Oh, and I do want to say actually the jacket that I am wearing, I will put a little picture up here. It actually is from Target. I was, this is one of the few pieces that I found lately. I mean, I find Target stuff online, but, and like I see other people post on Instagram, like people who are exclusive Target, like Instagram accounts. And I'm like, why does your Target have some of the cutest stuff? And mine does not. I went home and I was so jealous of all the girls who have cute stuff at their targets because mine just did not. So now for the beauty, I actually, our target has IGK. I was shook. I've never seen IGK in target. Maybe it's just mine, but I actually got this dry shampoo to try and I purchased a travel size um, as well, just to take in my hospital bag. Cause I was like, you know what? If I like it, like whatever, cool, it's dry shampoo. And I actually have really been loving this dry shampoo. So this is a charcoal detox dry shampoo. So I kind of wasn't sure how I felt about it the first couple days because, and I want to be clear, it does not make my scalp feel dry. It doesn't. It just doesn't, my scalp doesn't feel the same as it did with the Living Proof um, dry shampoo that I use frequently. So again, not dry, just not, I guess, as hydrated maybe is the word as the living proof dry shampoo makes your scalp feel. Um, so I really, really, really like this one because the smallest amount goes such a long way. And I feel like with the uh, living proof, I do feel like I have to use a little bit more of that than normal. Uh, but I think that just is to each its own. But today is hair wash day, which is why my hair, I haven't like curled it or anything in a few days. So it's looking a little, you know, it needs a little bit of life back to it. Definitely overdue for a hair wash, but this is just, again, one of those things that makes my life a lot easier. I am a big dry shampoo fanatic. Um, so this one in Living Proof, definitely top two favorites, but I was impressed that my Target had an IGK line. I didn't, I felt pretty bougie because I've only ever seen this one online before um, and never in stores. Olive and June, I am in love with. I've always loved that Target does have Olive and June um, in stores. Mine doesn't have polish. Usually they have like the manicure sets and now they have the uh, press on nails. But I went a little crazy and bought some of these after I actually, the red nails I have on right now are from Olive and June. So one of the things that I do wanna note first and foremost that I love, you can find it somewhere on here, I'm not sure. 
Somewhere on here, they list what colors they use for the press on nails, which is super impressive to me because if you love the look, you can buy that same polish and then recreate the same look like you can get. These are stars, so you can get this like same color polish and buy their little white star stickers and recreate that look on your own nails if you don't wanna do press on. So I think that's really impressive, but I was very undecided at first because I bought the long version of these nails and I hated them. They took so long to cut down, but after I got them cut down, I really, really loved them. And they actually, I'm gonna say it, they've lasted longer than Impress so far, which is a shocker to me because Impress nails, I can like get for like 10 days. And at this point, like Impress would be well overdue for just, just, you know, I would need a new set, um, but these still look really, really good. So I actually like them once, once they are on. They do come with the glue in the kit and the nail itself does not have any adhesive on it. So I know that a bunch of you guys asked me, um, you have issues with the impress, like if you cut it down, kind of having that adhesive kind of pull up through the nail. I am usually able to file that off and don't have issues with it, but I do from time to time have that issue with like, one just still has the adhesive come up or whatever and you don't have that at all with the olive and june nails so that is a definitely a plus to the um impress but i have loved these i got four different colors and kinds um, i got these that have little hearts on them for valentine's day i got just like the regular stars the gold glitter and then pink with the flowers so i can't wait to put these on because i'm trying in 2022 like boycott boring nails i can't remember who it is that started that on instagram but like now it's a whole thing to like boycott just like plain nail colors and so i'm like you know what i want to be fun i want to have fun nails in 2022 so i'm excited to put these on but i'm gonna wait the full time i'm gonna wait till these bad boys start popping off to really see how long they last um because they've already lasted just as long as impress and look even better than impress so we're gonna give them the full rundown and then the earrings that i am wearing right now so these are like kind of the last I guess we will say these are fashion. Um, I did get two pairs of hoop earrings from Target. I always love Target earrings because usually they're nickel-free, hypoallergenic. I have really sensitive ears and I've always been able to wear their earrings with no problem. Um, and they just have like really nice gold hoops. Like they don't turn, they don't tarnish, they don't turn your ear green. They're not heavy. Um, so very lightweight, just like cute little designs. And I like being able to wear double hoops in my ears. So that is the one fashion thing I'll mention. And then finally, I have some baby stuff. So I'm not gonna share like everything um, with you guys that I got because it's a little excessive. Um, but I have been loving every time I go to Target, picking up in a variety of sizes. I don't ever get just one size. Um, these are from the, oh wait, that's actually a different brand. This is my favorite brand. The Cloud Island brand from Target. So I got these little, they're like zippered um, footies, I believe is like what you actually call them, but they all come in little three packs. And so many people just say that like their children love the zippered footies. Um, and so I've picked up some of these just every now and then. And a lot of people have told me to stop buying baby clothes because they're like, people will give them to you at your baby shower. And I'm like, telling someone who is expecting a baby to not buy baby clothes is like the hardest thing to do in the entire world. Like it is physically impossible. Every time I go to Target, I buy new stuff. So I've just been getting a variety of these. Um, and so far I really like this brand just because it does have the little, you can turn these into little mitts if you need them. Um, I have separate mitts for him. Some people say their kids absolutely hate the mitts. So we'll just have to see. I'm sure this kid's gonna come out 50% like me and his father. So he will have a strong opinion no matter what. Um, and he will let us know. This is the Just One You made by Carter's brand. And this is the secondary brand, like the second most brand that I've purchased. Um, and it too is just like zippered, a zippered like onesie, footy, whatever you choose to call it. I don't know, is it a footy or a onesie? I think it's a footy, but I've been getting all these because I can't stop with the prints. This one has elephants and tigers and trees and giraffes. And then this one has dinosaurs on it. So, <sighs> eh. I wanna buy all the clothes. <laughs> if he has excess clothes, it's okay. And then actually for Christmas, a bunch of people bought us um, onesies that have the buttons on the bottoms. And I don't know, I already kinda have a little bit of, I kinda get what you guys are talking about. A lot of people were like, you're gonna hate buttons. And I was like, I don't know. I mean, will I hate buttons? You all say I'm gonna hate buttons. And then I tried to do some laundry the other day with all his little buttons. And I was like trying to button things up. And I was like, I cannot imagine doing this with a squirmy child inside of the onesie so 
it's gonna be interesting. Um, but we got some of the just like tops basically. So it was just like onesies that were like long sleeve or onesies that were short sleeve. And I just still was like, you know, we need some pants and like shorts and stuff. Cause I feel like that is not at all, like we don't have any of that. Either we have like a full like long sleeve zippered footy or like the onesies and then like no pants. So I was like, I think we need to go ahead and start getting this kid some pants. So I just picked up a little like a couple packs of them. Target really does. They're great with the packs and like you can get them for like $10. Um, so I got some of these that just are striped and then gray. I think we also got some that have like a blueprint on them. Um, and we did again, get these in a variety of sizes. Also shout out to the Cloud Island brand because they will have tags on their stuff, but they also print the information on the inside. So you can cut out that extra tag that just like I know is itchy as crap and also takes up like half of the clothing. Um, and you still are not losing the information on the inside. And a lot of people, um, I put up a poll on my Instagram and I said, you know, should I cut out the tags? And I think I had like two people who were like, don't because you can't donate it after. Um, and then the other like 98% of people were like, yes, my kid screamed if I didn't cut out a tag or um, a lot like the wash tag was a big one that I wanted to cut out. Again, I don't cut it out if it has info on it, but our goal is to keep this stuff until we have our second baby. If our second baby is a boy, then we will reuse it. If our second baby is a girl, then hopefully by then my siblings have made me an aunt and I can give some of it to them. So I'm not super worried about as far as like the wash tag information not being in there but I do just want to share that like at least from what I've heard and asked um, like 98% of people are like yeah no my kid does not do tags so that's just what I've heard so far okay talked a lot in this video but I love me some Target kind of a little crazy at Target um, so everything like I said is gonna be linked in the description bar below for you guys to shop I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up if you liked it and also click the subscribe button below love to have you guys join the fam love you guys so much and I hope that I see you in my next video